Hello, hello, it's Florian from Cinema 5D. Welcome to this quick tip video. In this one, I'm going to show you how to pull a quick chroma key on the color page in DaVinci Resolve. Chroma keying is replacing a background, for example, a green screen or a blue screen with another image. Lots of FX packages do have chroma key as built in, but they all have a bit of a learning curve. Pulling a good key is something between art and science, but there's a really easy way to pull decent keys in DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you how this works. We are in Resolve's edit page and uh, there's our green screen clip on top of a, as of yet, invisible background clip. Let's switch to the color page to do our key. In this first node, I have done some basic color correction. So let's add another serial node to do our keying in. We are going to use the qualifier, select it down here and switch it to 3D. So we are presented with this user interface down here. Select the picker and start drawing on the green of the green screen. This tells the Kia which color you want to choose. To see what gets selected by the qualifier, you can activate the highlight feature by clicking here. And we see it has already grabbed much of the green. It's better to view masks with more contrast. So let's go to preferences, user, color, and select Matte Display High Contrast Black and White. Click Save. Now we can see that there is a little bit of noise left here. We click the plus picker and try to add those little noisy bits to our key as well. Now we can switch off the highlight tool and nothing happened. In order to use the alpha that is created by the 3D qualifier, we have to add an alpha output. So you come here, right click, alpha output, and this little blue dot here gets added. To connect the alpha that's created by our node to the output of the color correction, you just drag this little line. Immediately, you can see that the Kia is working. It's just the wrong way around. Come down here and click invert to invert the key. We still see the blue squiggly lines that we can switch off here. And we do have a decent key to start with. There is a little spill in her hair, which can easily be fixed by checking the dispill box. Depending on your footage, you might want to use the eyedropper with the plus sign or the eyedropper with the minus sign down here to add and subtract to the selection you did with the 3D qualifier. You can also use clean black and clean white to clean up your key. And in this second tab, you can shrink the mask that the key is created and fine tune it until your key works. It's not gonna get me a visual effects Oscar, but I think you get the idea. This technique allows you to quickly pull fairly decent keys. Of course, it's not high-end compositing, but it renders a lot faster than, for example, the keys that are built into the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. If you have questions, ideas, or tips yourself you want to share, please leave them in the comments. For me, it's goodbye and servus from Austria.